Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me at Google Cloud Next. I'm Matthew Isat, product lead for the Workspace platform. And I'm excited to be talking to you about creating modern end user applications in and for Google Workspace. There's a lot to share about the platform. And today, I'll split that discussion into four topics. First, I'll share with you the overall vision and approach we are taking to building Google Workspace as a platform. Next, we'll walk through the latest platform updates. Then I'll chat with Strand Sylvester, a product manager from Asana, who will share how Asana is building on Google Workspace. Finally, I'll let you know how you can get started using the Google Workspace platform. So let's jump right into our first topic. We are focused on addressing the challenges faced by millions of paying customers, businesses and organizations around the world, and billions of consumer users. We know that shifts to hybrid work have disrupted how work gets done for everyone, and that digital transformation is key to adjusting to these disruptions. Collaboration patterns and business processes have moved to the cloud, and organizational workflows have permanently shifted. We believe that workflows will transcend products. One simple workflow to complete a task or a process could span across multiple workspace apps, tools from other vendors, as well as internal tools. We see workspace as one of the primary layers of interactivity with end users for these workflows. Workspace is where end users spend most of their days communicating and collaborating with their colleagues. So it makes sense to bring more process and apps into that hub work. This connectivity layer allows developers and IT professionals to bring the best of their cloud services, their decision-making data, and partner applications, all together right where users need them in order to get the most value from these tools. There are three aspects to how we look at integrations and the extensibility of Google Workspace. First, get more out of your existing apps and data with Google Workspace integrations. We have thousands of apps and add-ons available for Workspace in the marketplace today including Box, Jira, PagerDuty, and more. So have a look and get more out of the apps you're already using. Next, you can modernize how your organization communicates and collaborates by extending and customizing Google Workspace. As I mentioned earlier, work patterns and the demands of the workforce have changed, which means organizations need to rethink processes and how work gets done. Workspace provides the tools to allow organizations to adapt to this change. And one way is through a robust collection of APIs, allowing organizations to connect critical data from documents to messages to the apps that are central to how an organization operates. This allows our customers to turn Google Workspace into a hub for business purposes, serving, servicing relevant information when and where it is most beneficial for users. Finally, we see this as a virtuous cycle when users and developers see how they are able to benefit from new workflows tied to communication and collaboration, they will discover even more ways to improve their work. Google Workspace's cloud-native origins has another advantage. A developer can build something once, have it work across desktop and mobile, Gmail and chat and docs. Admins can control the deployment apps, and users can find the apps they need right within Google Workspace. We've been building our platform with a focus on security, and control. We believe organizations have the controls to decide which apps should have access to what data. And when it comes to building integrations, we are designing for developers big and small and those who don't know how to code at all. This ranges from professional developers in ISV or consultants with deep coding experience, all the way down to a person working within a line of business who wants to automate a process but has never written a line of code. Whatever kind of creator you are, Google Workspace provides the APIs, features, and tools that developers need to get their apps working quickly. As I mentioned earlier, we have thousands of partner apps available in the Workspace marketplace. We partner with leading SaaS companies such as PagerDuty, Adobe, and Atlassian to integrate the tools you already use into Workspace. Now that we've covered the background, let's jump into what's new. And let's start with the latest updates to chat apps for Google Workspace. We are adding functionality to chat apps so developers can soon add widgets like a date time picker or design their layout with multiple columns to make better use of space. We believe these new layout options will open more ways for developers to build engaging apps for users. 
A partner that's taking advantage of this is AODocs. They made a chat integration that helps you quickly find and share documents stored on their platform. We've also added about pages for apps, allowing app builders to inform users of the great features and functionality of their apps, ensuring users get the most value from these apps. Next, we're making the compose bar in chat another place for app discovery. By clicking on the assistant button next to the compose bar, users can now quickly and easily find apps for chat without missing a beat. We're also investing in expanding the capabilities of our chat API. Developers can already create spaces and add people to spaces programmatically. As an example, PagerDuty is leveraging this functionality today to automatically add people to spaces for instant response. Coming very soon, developers will be able to build apps that can programmatically create one-to-one -one direct messages or group chats, making your app more interactive and relevant to users. These new APIs will also allow apps to read and write messages programmatically, including message content, attachments, and reactions. Our partner Loom Apps is taking advantage of this. With these new chat APIs, employees will be able to launch a private Google chat with another employee directly from Loom Apps user directory. We know these upcoming APIs will allow you to unlock more power from real-time enterprise messaging. And we are excited to see what use cases and integrations you can come up with. Now let's explore some of the newest capabilities on the way for Google Meet. Meet is critical to organizations and people connecting in the hybrid workplace. Many of you have been asking us for a way you can bring your apps into Meet, and we're delighted to tell you that that time is near. You can soon leverage our new Meet add-on SDK to bring the power and functionality of your apps into Meet, enhancing the meeting experience of our joint users. Bringing your apps into Meet opens up limitless possibilities for effective, productive, and delightful meetings as users collaborate in your application while never leaving the meeting space. Everyone will be confident that all participants are on the same page. The new Meet add-on SDK will be available for early access in the coming months. It will make it easy for you to unlock co-interactivity features that make Meet more engaging, collaborative, and effective. Plus, users will be able to discover and install apps right from the Meet UI. Our partner Figma is already planning to take advantage of this new Meet integration. The integration will bring Figma and FigJam files right into Meet, so teams can brainstorm and build designs together right in the flow of a meeting. All participants can contribute and engage through Meet, so more voices are heard and projects move forward faster. Second, we want developers to be able to bring Meet connectivity to their apps. With our new Meet APIs, you can programmatically schedule and launch meetings directly from your app. And you'll also want to let the folks know when the meeting has started or if it's currently live. So we're providing an event-driven API, including callbacks indicating that a meeting has started or ended, along with metadata, such as participant lists. Whether your app is coming into Meet or the power of Meet is coming into your app, we want to ensure users can collaborate and connect seamlessly, all through the power of Google Meet. Moving on, we know that Google Docs is critical to daily work for the millions of businesses that rely on Workspace. We want to ensure we are making documents interactive, engaging, and even more insightful. To do this, we are opening up SmartShips functionality to our partners. SmartShips allow you to tag and see critical information to linked resources, such as projects, customer records, and more. This preview information provides users with more context and critical information right in the flow of their work. Some of our partners are already working to take advantage of this feature. For example, AO Docs is leveraging this to help users see relevant information about the docs that were shared from their service. We have some other examples. Atlassian is creating smart chips for both their Jira and Confluence apps. The Jira smart chip will share information about tickets that are useful for IT users and developers that use Docs as a collaboration tool in concert with Jira for DevOps. Confluence is great for knowledge management, and the smart chip serves key information right in Docs with quick action buttons available to manipulate data and Confluence without leaving the document. Figma is using smart chips to embed critical information about design projects and collaborative brainstorming sessions. The GIPs provide a visual thumbnail of the project so you can easily tell what you're clicking into. Tableau and Zendesk are two more partners leveraging smart chips, and we expect many more to follow. To help you create apps for and integrations with Workspace, we have a range of tools that allows anyone to build useful solutions. AppSheet, our no-code app and workflow builder, helps folks without coding experience build useful solutions using a simple graphical user interface, thus empowering citizen developers. We're working to add the ability to create chat apps using AppSheet. 
Next, those with a bit more coding experience can use AppScript, our low-code offering. Similar to JavaScript, makers can build quickly and easily without needing their own cloud environment or having to configure access to Workspace, which accelerates development. We've made further enhancements to AppScript to make development easier. For Fusion development, or the collaboration of system developers and professional developers, you can use the new AppScript connector for AppSheet, which lets citizen developers build an AppSheet app that leverages pre-created scripts built in AppScript. Finally, for our professional developers, we will be releasing a new API explorer for Workspace APIs. This will help you find the right APIs and quickly try out different calls to more quickly find the methods you need for your Workspace integrations. We also continue investing in our Workspace Marketplace, making it easier for you to discover, distribute, and manage both third-party apps and custom internally built apps. With over 5,200 apps available, the Marketplace makes it easy for developers to distribute their workplace integrations and for our customers to enhance their workflows with secure, market-tested apps. It's been a whirlwind trip across all the new features in the Workspace platform. To dive a bit deeper into the experience of developing for Google Workspace, I'd like to invite a partner to join us to share their experience. I'd like to introduce Strand Sylvester, a product manager at Asana, to join us and share some of his experiences integrating Asana with Workspace. Welcome, Strand. Tell us a little bit about yourself and Asana. Thanks for having me. Uh, Asana is a leading work management platform that helps individuals, teams, and organizations of all sizes orchestrate their work. My role with Asana is focused on workflow integrations that connect to customer tools. I've led the development of several Google Workspace solutions, including integrations with Gmail, Google Drive, Chat, and others. It's quite a few. Can you tell us a little more about some of the integrations you just mentioned? What's the power you see in bringing Workspace and Asana together to help the end user? Yeah, absolutely. Um, at Asana, we firmly believe that while teams are structured functionally, work in an organization happens cross-functionally. Uh, we know Google Workspace is deeply embedded in day-to-day -day communications and collaboration that teams rely on. And Asana is where teams coordinate that work in one central place. Our most recent update to our Gmail and Google Drive integrations are powered by Asana app components, which helps build more focus and flow into a customer's workflow by building, uh, sorry, by bringing core elements of partner apps into Asana. Um, let's take Gmail as an example. Uh, we help customers track to-dos and next steps via Asana tasks directly from their Gmail inbox, so they never miss an update. Uh, we also built a new rule action to help automate work across tools. For example, if you want to know when key changes are made to a project in Asana, uh, I can automatically trigger a custom action where I get notified in Gmail, so I can always stay up to date. Or if we look at the Google Drive integration, um, it's all about helping customers easily attach Google Drive files to tasks in Asana and receive comment notifications to keep teams and work connected. We actually recently built a widget with the ability to easily search and link Google Drive files to tasks in Asana and preview file details to see the owner, open comments, and other recent activity without needing to switch tools. So with the Asana platform, you can see how we're able to power rich experiences that help our customers enhance the way they work together which is taken even further in our partnership with Google Workspace. That's great. Looking ahead, what's next for Asana and Workspace? How does your team envision building upon a lot of this early success? As Google continues to build out features and functionality, our customers and community have shown a huge interest in future integration work, which is something we'll continue to prioritize. Uh, in fact, we're excited to already be exploring integrations with some of the features you announced today. Um, with Asana's app components and Google Workspace's latest Meet and Drive APIs, we're exploring how we can make meetings more actionable by helping users prepare purposeful meetings. Uh, some features we're considering include allowing users to create or link an existing Google Meet meeting directly from a task in Asana using the new Meet APIs. Uh, additionally, we'd like to allow users to add tasks to the meeting to create a clear agenda and also allow them to assign out pre-work so teams arrive prepared for a purposeful meeting. Um, we also see smart chips as a way to really expand upon our existing functionality within Google Drive. Um, we want to help users surface key information from Asana tasks or projects directly in docs, sheets, and slides. 
Um, some thoughts on what this mean might include, you know, working to execute a project and needing to pull up a specific Asana task for details or collaborating on strategic planning where leadership needs to easily pull in Asana projects. So as you can tell, we're pretty excited about continuing to partner with Google. Um, while none of these new features are set in stone, uh, we're gonna continue to work with these newly announced workspace features to see what works best for our users. Also, I think we're really excited to see what our mutual de developer community builds using app components to keep tools and workflows between the Google and Asana platform connected. You know, I heard you mention developers. Uh, I'm really you know, interested in your thoughts about how we can help bring our platforms together to help developers. Uh, what can they look forward to next? So we've seen the value of Google Workspace as a platform for powering many of our core horizontal integrations. Um, not only have our customers benefited from these solutions, um, but the partnership has as well. Um, Google providing more ways to build really valuable, meaningful integrations is a developer's dream. Um, in that vein, we're also deepening our own platform environment with app components to help developers build highly customizable in-product experiences for their apps within Asana, just like we've done for Google Drive, Gmail, and a future state look at Google Meet. This shared vision on platform integrations and extensibility for both of our products will continue to drive better user experiences and customer outcomes. Together, our tools help developers address these really complex workflows across our apps, which improves user experiences. For any developers out there interested in building with app components, I'd recommend checking out Asana's developer platform. Bringing Google and Asana platforms together is a natural fit, and we're really excited to continue building best-in-class apps to serve that coordination layer uh, for Google Workspace customers for years to come. Strand, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your insights about Asana and Workspace and your overall thoughts on the Google Workspace platform. With that, we need to wrap up today's session. But I want to leave you with some information on how to get started with the Workspace platform. Workspace provides the connectivity layer for businesses and users around the world to connect with data, processes, and people. It unlocks opportunities to find and adapt new workflows and helps get information right to the user's fingertips. In sum, Workspace can be the surface to help deliver digital transformation. I know we covered a lot today but we really just touched the surface of what you can do with integrations and the extensibility capabilities of Workspace. On screen, you can see we have a number of great resources to get started, whether developing for Workspace today or getting started with one of our existing partner integrations. You can also stay up to date on our latest news or join our community to enrich your journey. There are also a number of other sessions where you can learn more about the latest news for Workspace at Google Cloud Next 2022. Thank you again for attending today's session, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the programming at Next.